Hey guys, in this video, I want to show you how we scaled one dropshipping product over $170,000 a day in sales. So you can see here, uh, that's approximately keeping up like this, 111, 117. So that's pretty much where it's at. And so I want to show you exactly the strategy. I want to show you exactly the product research that we have utilized to find this product in the first place. I want to explain the funnel that is behind this product so you can replicate it for yourself and get that competitive advantage that would allow you to scale hearts. So, as you can see, this is a funnelist, right? This is a platform that we use. This is basically the active users that we are getting right now. So we have 85 users right now. So this is slightly different. This is not Shopify, right? So Shopify, we use as CRM. Some of the orders come to the Shopify for, so we can fulfill them and kind of like manage customers, um, provide you know the feedback, mark the orders, so all of that stuff. But Funnelish is something that we use to in alignment with ClickFunnels. So we use ClickFunnels, we use Funnelish, we use Shopify, right? So Funnelish kind of like combines both of these and those. So here is basically all where all of the orders arrive. So you can see at some of the like best hours we get like five five thousand dollars a day in sales and it gives you very good metrics here on this level. Even like how many purchases you have like per hour. What is the you know what is the conversion rate? So pretty much gives you like very good comprehensive understanding how your funnel is performing and also compared to the previous days. So for example day after we had the worst day so it was only ninety four thousand dollars in sales right so you can see the sales dropped and so this is pretty much kind of like how we operate this is the the structure that we are using that's why for example uh in our shopify you know it shares and some people like hey like i mean there's like very low number of visitors the number of visitors is low because the orders actually you know coming through shopify is through click funnels and funnelage not a, everyone just gets to that stage where they go to the Shopify store. That's why there's so many, uh, there's like not many visitors directly on the Shopify store and there are a lot of sales. So this is why uh, exactly that happens. So this is basically an amazing platform to manage your sales if you're using funnels. And I wanna show you the whole structure, the whole background here. So you kind of like understand it can replicate it for yourself because a lot of people still operate their like drop serving business as, as it was like 2016. And that's okay, you know, in some countries, less competitive, like in Europe, you can still do that, like very like random product pages, so just being like operating on a very kind of like basic level. And that's fine, you know, you can do like millions of dollars per month with that. But at the same time, if you're in more competitive markets like United States, you've got to level up. And you've got to level up by having, you know, better funnels, but by just selling your product differently. So this is exactly what I want to show you how to do here. Let's get started. So 117k a day uh, with one drop shipping funnel. This is basically uh, what I'll show you guys. So the product itself is high ticket, right? It's high ticket, $110 selling price. Uh, product cost me about uh, $35. It solves a wide problem. It's a back pain product. And I wanna show you kind of like my line of thinking behind of that because we always go into markets where these problems are just like go from generation to generation. We don't go like after some seasonal product because that just like, too much effort. If you want to make like a few million, that's fine. But if you want to make like a few million consistently per month, you know, for for like next like few years, then you have to go after market that are more evergreen, right? So we like weight loss, health and beauty, you know, back pain, like those things that kind of like just pe people always have back pain. People will always have back pain, right? The more they sit, the more like this like lazy lifestyle, the more they sit in the cars. People will always, always have that problem. So this is what we are solving here. And product itself is pretty light, so we, we don't have shipping problems. Has multiple upsells and relevant product. This is what's important, right? You wanna be as profitable as possible in first transaction. Unless you're building something very sustainable, you're ready to like lose money or like be unprofitable, break even for a long period of time and maybe have some subscription revenue on the back end. Like you wanna be as profitable as possible. So that's why we bundle products, we have order bumps, we have multiple upsells. So we multiply and maximize the average order value and how much we generate from each transaction. This is very, very important. This is what you have to keep in mind. Like even if you find one product, but you cannot bundle it with anything, you cannot upsell it with, you know, with anything, then, I mean, you can make it work, but it will be much harder. So it has certain like disposable parts, 
right? So uh, the product itself using like disposable covers that uh, basically customers need to return and buy those again, right? So that, that's what creates the return customers and that's what brings customers back. I renamed branded obviously, so we can compare it with other products. Like, so you, you always need to do that, always need to upgrade your packaging. So if you're selling, you validate the product, talk to your agent. By the way, comment agent in the comments if you want uh, my agent, so I'll share my agents with you guys. It's wild wow fact. And so what I mean by wild wow fact is like, people think that wild wow fact is something like, needs to be something that's like magical, right? But it doesn't need to be something that's magical. From my understanding, like the wow effect is pretty much the, you know, something, let's say you have a no problem, you have the back pain, right? But that back pain can be sold in many different ways, right? You can go to chiropractor, you can go to, I don't know, and have a massage, you can buy the massage gun, you can buy like, there are many different things that you can do with it. And so this is the way I think about it. Now in the massage gun, when it was introduced, it was like, wow fact right it was all problems still like back pain like still all those things but then new solution instant looks amazing like ooh, it's like shaking right so it's like very very impressive so this is exactly what we are looking for we're looking for that kind of like wow it's like you can solve the problem in different ways so then even people who have you know purchase like chiropractor visitors purchase massage purchase like other products now they see that that product and they think that that product is the solution Right, because like, hey, forget everything you've seen before, massage guns and, and chiropractors and all of that stuff, it's not effective, use this product, right? This is how we position it and this is why it works. Uh, product research hacks here, guys. And, and I mean, this will be mind blowing and like for those of you guys who advance and pretty much my audience, like the best results we get, you know, for our clients and overall, um, some of you guys, those that are advanced, that they're really like six, seven figures per month, this will blow your fucking mind. This will blow your fucking mind. Let me show you something, guys. So we are using this tool, uh, which is called AdBeat, right? And this is amazing tool. Now, this is not free tool. Like those of you guys like looking for like free, like product research tool, probably that's not for you. You can go like watch some other videos. Like I, I, this is not free tool. This is like 300 bucks a month, but it's worth like sing every single penny of it because what you will get from this tool is you will get a lot of fucking insights because let's say if I want to like reverse engineer like competitor, right? So there's there was, for example, this product that just like absolutely destroyed it. And you can see it gives you it gives you like so many insights, right? It gives you all of the competitive data, right? It gives you specifically the funnel. It gives you all of their ads. And I mean, the ads that they'll give you, right? This is for for native advertising and native like native advertising has a lot bigger scale than Facebook from my understanding at least it has you can see how many impressions each of these uh, pages have had like thousands hundreds of thousands of impressions 113 million impressions right this ad for example was seen like for the last two months aggressively 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 advertised right like very aggressively and so this is just one of them. This one here was seen like 88 million times, right? And all of the pages, all of the landers that you might need, right? Like, so we, we might just go and I'll break down the funnel as well. But you can see this is like pre-sale page, right? This is like the pre-sale page for this product. This is another pre-sale page, right? So it's kind of like building that because the product is quite new, kind of like you have to educate customers more. But if you can do that, Right? And if you can make it work on native, probably can make it on any platform because on natives, like people just browsing like to business inside their and other websites. And now you're showing them something that is like maybe totally out of what they were looking for. So it's not like on, even on Facebook, you know, where it's like people at least Facebook knows like what person is, was looking for something, but then they show you some, some of that material here. It's totally could be like totally out of context. So to convert that totally cold person into a buyer, you can see it takes a longer sales process. So this is why it is so different. This is why it works for us getting to hundred K a day, which, you know, it's, it's just one of our products. It's not a big volume at all, but it's this, this is why it works, right? Because it's so different. It's so different from all of these people that just have the product pages. And again, you can make product pages like very simple setup, just boom, 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 testing products, testing multiple products a day. You can make that model work still. What I prefer is have less products and doing, let's say 30, 50, $100,000 per day per product. And just having peace of mind, having less products, having less headaches and having less stuff to manage. So, but you can see that how sales process is totally, totally different here. 
right? There are few pre-sale pages. There are few, like there are a lot of that, you know, it, it just like so, so different, right? So instead of focusing on, let's say 20 different products and then building product pages for all of these, you take one product and then you just figure out how to position that product in front of the customer. So then you convert people and just make that product the unique solution to their problem. So here, for example, the solution is the beauty, right? Get younger while you sleep. So it's not like you, hey, you need like these like tan creams or you need to buy this serum or you need to buy this, you need to buy that. All you need to do is just buy this like pillowcase, sleep on it and you'll be like getting younger, right? I mean, which is probably like exaggeration, you know, you, you cannot get younger, it's like only one, it's only going one way, but anyway, it's working, right? And so this company is, you know, advertising extremely aggressively. I don't know if they're using the affiliates to promote their products or they are just like having their in-house team, but very, very impressive things, right? You can see the landers, everything is so good and a lot to learn from, right? So this is the format, exactly, exactly the format that we use. We have the pre-sale page. We have the uh, the other pre-sale page, right? So that that's the other pre-sale page, building even more awareness, building even more reasons to buy, building even more difference, right? So the main, if you will see here, right? It's like, you'll never sleep on cotton again, right? So pretty much you have like hundreds of millions of people who sleep on cotton. I mean, I sleep on cotton and Everyone is using it. Now it's like kind of like reframing that belief that cotton is not good for you, right? That you need to sleep on the silk, right? For example, hey, you don't need the chiroproctors again, right? You don't need the, that, that stuff that you're using now. This is what you need, right? Reframing that belief, obviously again, it's more advanced stuff. It's only for you guys who already do some numbers, who have that like more advanced mentality, advanced thinking. This is not for people who are starting out. If you're just starting out with it, probably like it, it will be too complex for you. But this is exactly what you need and kind of like the direction that you need to, to make it work with this format. But if you, if you can make it work, you can scale to 20, 50, $100,000 a day in sales. So this is it, right? So this is in terms of the structure, guys. I wanted to share, share with you this because this is so impressive. And guys, just get yourself this ad bid. Again, don't be cheap on yourself. It's like 300 bucks a month but you will see so much stuff, right? Like, so for example, what you will be able to see here, like top advertisers, right? Who's top advertisers? I mean, obviously the, a lot of the top advertisers here, let's do these guys here, beauty, right? A lot of these guys here are just like publishers, big websites, right? So this, they're just advertising just to get traffic. I don't know their model, like they're probably monetizing just the impressions that they get. But some of these are like direct response people. Right, so YouTube, I mean, these are people like, uh, these are companies with like unlimited ad budget. They're just like, hey, let's blow like $500,000 or like $1 million per day on ads on these, just get more impressions, just to get more awareness about what we do. Meyer Jacobs, right, so that's the apparel, right, uh, fashion style, Best Buy, big advertisers, right? But if you just scroll, like scroll here, just go a bit farther, go a bit farther, then you will start to see more and more like more and more like direct response people, right? So impressions 2.3 billion, which is pretty big number. Uh, God health wellness, right? So that's interesting. I mean, these guys might be selling something. God health, health wellness, they might be selling like supplements or they might be selling something else, right? So creative, right? So top ads, see all top ads, boom, right? Boom, this is where they're, my insights feel clean again. That's it, click here to watch the presentation. Boom, right? So this is it. Uh, you watch the video, right? And this is, right? This is like the VSL, very powerful model. Absolutely fucking destroying it. Absolutely fucking destroying it. Again, guys, again, it, it's it's not for everyone, you know? You probably would need like, probably like 30, 50, $100,000 to figure out like native if you want to do it. Probably, I mean, that's just my assumption. I just know some people that shared their experience. But if you do that, I mean, that's massive scale. Right, like that's a massive scale. Like these, these guys are doing some some crazy numbers. I urge Americans to quit free food, and then again, right, boom, right, pre-sale presentation, like slightly different format, VSL, right, instead of the just inst instead of the regular. So instead of just driving people to regular product page or driving people even to the pre-sale page, like slide pre-sale page and then click to watch the presentation, click to watch the presentation. And VSL seems to be converting really, really, really good, right? So there's like some surveys. So 
interesting funnels, you know, different funnels, different than like probably anything that you have ever seen. I like to see these ads like on different platforms. Like I browse and then I see these ads. I'm like, wow, that's just amazing. I save that ad and I go through the whole funnel because a lot of things to learn. Again, this is different guys. This is advanced stuff. This is not for everyone. But for those of you guys who can figure out, this is this is the key, you know, this is the keys to the castle. I mean, this is it guys. And um, this is where we want our business to be as well. Like whatever, like if you, if even if you're building a brand, right? Like think about like even this company that I showed you, like the, the volume that they do right now, I mean, they do probably like 60, 80 million dollars a year this company just in a few years because of because they have figured it out because they have figured out like how to convert person who has no fucking idea what this product is how to educate them right how to make them want it and how to actually get them to buy now if you think about it like from that perspective right this is not like a big deal right like the product itself right so so here for example right pillowcase pillowcase right let's do silk pillowcase product itself is not the competitive advantage right product itself you know people say that, hey product saturated hey is silk pillow fucking saturated it is or it isn't right like silk pillowcase right like let's we if we search okay so if we just like mulberry silk like the the uh, product that's like the best quality you can get like 16 to 20 bucks right these are like low kind of, so if we do it here, like $20, $20, the most expensive you can get like $20, right? $20. All right. So let's see these guys here. These guys here, they are selling this product for how much, right? We just like check availability. So $20 is the worst case scenario, right? I'm not saying you should go after this product. I mean, you're, you'd have like a tough time like competing with these guys probably, but that just shows you what is possible when you apply the same framework to different products, to, to different, like, so here, so they have standard for $44, right? But then now, if you do it like more expensive here, right? So these regulars are like, yeah, two queen, $44 for each, right? If you buy only two of them, so if you buy like one, it's like $69, right? But if you buy four, that's like makes makes the order like of like 180 bucks tremendous right so their cost would be like what like 80 at most right i mean that's a just i mean aliexpress is you know exaggerated prices right if you order like let's say 10,000 products directly from the manufacturer like your price would be probably like 10 or 12 right aliexpress is very overpriced but in worst case scenario here this you buy for 20 you sell for 69 here you buy for like, let's say it costs you 80 worst case scenario and it, and you would get like 179. You have approximately hundred dollars to acquire a customer, which is fucking crazy, right? hundred dollars. Like, try to compete, like compete with other dropshippers who can spend like $15, just fucking wipe them out. So, so this is it, right? This is the structure that we use guys. And I mean, this is just, again, this is just so powerful that but it's not for everyone. It's not for everyone and not everyone will make it work. Not everyone, like 1% of people will make it work. And we are like, I mean, our, our business is like, we haven't made, made it work. We're like hundred, you know, hundred K days, like not making it work. 300, 500 consistently every day, that's making it work. So, because the opportunity is like massive. So again, final is like pre-sale page, second pre-sale page, trust badges, um, branding as with popular brands. So this is how we do it. So you have seen that as well on, on Blissey as well. Influencer made uh, photos and product description to make it real, you know, like real people can send it to people, pay them like 50 bucks, 100 bucks. They send you photos like this. This is like sending probably like free products. Let's see here, sending free products to people and they send you the content back. No, no engagement at all. So this is all that. Yeah, this is all that just page for kind of like social proof, but no one does it proactively. Content creation, probably sending content to like free product, you can see, right? So there's some influencer marketing. Some of them have no engagement, which is like artificial, right? Like five likes, three likes. So this is fully artificial, but some of them have, right? Some of them are good influencers, probably sending, getting like free products and sending the content back. This is it, content production cycle. You don't have to overthink it. Pay people for the content. Hey. I want to give you the free product, you pay you like five, like a hundred dollars for, for the content you're in or not, you know, someone who has like 5,000 followers, this is what we do. And that's it. You didn't have to overthink it. So on our side, 
that's basically the structure that we have replicated. So Facebook ads, Facebook ad testing phase. Now, if you put all of the work, right, this is a foundation, funnel is a foundation, product research is a foundation, right? How people perceive the product, this is the foundation. Everything else is just secondary. People think that Facebook ads is a secret. Facebook ads is easy. Facebook ads is so easy once you have the foundation strong. So Facebook ads testing phase, starting with wide interest, uh, testing like skincare, health and fitness, um, back pain, you know, chiropractor, like all of those interests, testing them out. Flexing them with Groupon and Gate Shoppers, 50% of my ad sets. So some of them uh, perform better when they're flexed. First four videos I've used, they were not resonating with audience, like low quality and engagement. Uh, so that's at another angle, uh, using just like stats and common sense. Once final found the angle uh, that was like resonating, that's at like 10 plus creatives. And what specifically worked for me was like longer videos, best performing one uh, was like about 45 seconds. Testing first five seconds of the videos makes the biggest difference. Radical difference in performance. You would see like radical difference performance just if you have different five seconds. Again, try to source some unique content that no one has used before. Everyone is using the same content, ripping the same ads. Like, I mean, don't do that. Find some unique content, right? Find some unique content. Thumbnails can make or break the video. That's the easy one, right? That's probably the easiest one to test. So that's on that side. Ad testing process to identify a winning ad. Uh, tested five variations with 10 logical interest targeting. Uh, so we are looking initially for like high click rate or ideally sales, and we give we give it like five hundred dollars spent to give to get some decent data. Once I found a winning ad tested, it was ten more wide interest to find more audiences and get initial scale, all using the original post ID. After some time, we've stopped using the same post ID when pages started getting flagged. So we've had that issue a few days ago. We don't have it anymore. But you can, if you have issues with a lot of your ads getting rejected at the same time, what you need to do is just simply stop using the same post ID and use another post ID, right? Like just like recreate the ad every single time. Now you'll lose the social proof, obviously. On one side, that's good because not people will not be able to see that you're doing very well, right? So if you, people will see that you're doing very well, then obviously, you know, you will have to you'll have issues, right? Like, because people will start like ripping your stuff. And then we, that's why we don't get like, People cannot find their ads, you know, some like very like rarely people can find the ads that we run and replicate it and read them. First, like because our, our funnels are so good. And second is because like we use so many different pages and we also recreate pages. So our ads don't get as much engagement, but they're very profitable, right? So we just have like ads with like dozens of likes or maybe hundreds of likes, but rarely we get, you know, like thousands of likes because we simply don't want that. It also makes you vulnerable because let's say you're using the same post ID on different, let's say in different ad sets, right? Doing very well, scaling the same ad. Now what happens if that ad gets flagged, right? Then it might give like the chain reaction of all of your ads getting flagged. And if you get, have a lot of your ads flagged at the same time, you might get your ad account shut down, right? So this is what, what we have found and uh, this is what we are trying to avoid. And we've sent the se second best performing ad through the same process, pretty much just like replicating it with new ads and just, just scaling it that way, scaling horizontally, right? So my winning video ad framework, guys, and I mean, that might be like, it will be very helpful for, for a lot of you. So it's basically product demo by three influencers. Again, just like find people, three, 5,000 followers, that are visually attractive, just send them, hey, you want a free product? And we'll, we'll, you know, you send us back the content. If they don't want to just send them like, hey, okay, so if you want to like, kind of like pay you, like how much will that be, right? And just pay them. So all compiled into fast rolling intro. So first like five, 10 seconds, then use content from a video. So one of our video editors is a professional videographer. He's amazing. And he has some content from his like previous shoots. He, he has a very good network. So he has a custom content that never been used before. So that's just like that, that helped like a lot, you know, with kind of like just creating new angles and creating ads that other people have never seen before. Captions to describe the problem and solution that's, you know, product provides. So we're using grab.com. After influencers, we switch to the main demonstration video using uh, YouTube, YouTube videos and our own footage with main benefit text. So aim for above average engagement, conversion equality. Otherwise it won't work on the scale. 
Sometimes what you would have, you would probably have that in your in your ad account is that you will have below average like or like very low kind of like engagement or very low conversion. So if one of those things is kind of like low or, or below average, that is fine. Right. But if like all three of them like below average, then you simply are not competitive in the auction and like someone else would just push you out of auctions and you will not be able to scale. This is what I would recommend on that side. So scaling Facebook ads, winning interest and lookalike ads has been duplicated to CBOs. Most of the budgets like still like with ABOs. Uh, I like, you know, some of my media buyers, they like CBOs. I like ABOs, optimizing kill low performance. So it's getting more tricky with IS14 to kill like low performance. You don't know, like sometimes you would kill like something that's actually profitable. That's a bit tricky. The way I think about it is just like optimizing for like, I know that let's say we have the conversion rate of like 1%, 2%, right? We have the average order value of like 100, 150, $200. So for me, just the earnings per click, right? Like if how many clicks we have sent, right? And you know, basically whether it's like those clicks, if, if conversion rate stays the same, if cost per click stays the same, then we should be profitable, right? So for me, that line of thinking, because I know the metrics and KPIs that we should be getting on our ads, still by duplicating CBOs, as is and also duplicating that with 2x budgets. Now, generally, again, you can scale with ABOs, you can scale with CBOs, you can scale with both at the same time. And I'll explain kind of like the structure behind that. So we're just filtering on Facebook page to reduce number of bad comments. So comment list to get this list, comment list, list below guys, and I'll send you the list. Maintaining good draws but killing all performance, optimizing on add to cart and purchase level. So what I mean by that is like sometimes, you know, especially after iOS uh, 14, it's like you wouldn't see like, all of the purchases reported correctly, but what you would see is that some ads that just have good add to cart. Let's say you want like your, your good add to cart ratio, like $5, right? Your best performing assets have like add to cart $5. And then you have like some ads that's like with $20 add to cart. Obviously that, that is a loser, right? Like, so you can use that to optimize. You can use that to kill like low performing assets. So in case you didn't have sufficient data, if it's not reporting pro properly on purchase level. Now we still like, we're looking for a potential solution for that, for the reporting side. So kind of like have it more, more accurate, but at the moment it is what it is. We scaled mostly horizontally. And I mean, if we can do like 100K days, we just want which is just this one product on top of everything else that we do is like, it's, you can do it too, you know? So again, focus on things that's important, that, that is conversion that is funnel and that is product itself, right? How you, how you position that product, charge more, you know, like charge more for the product, create a good funnel to sell that product, and then you'll have the competitive advantage. So all of these things will become less relevant. Scaled mostly horizontally by testing new interests. So LLAs in combination with higher budgets, five, 600, 1000 day, a day per asset. What I mean by that is like a lot of people, the, the mistake that they make is like, and they learn it like on YouTube from, from all of these like people who, who have no idea what they're fucking doing. Like $5 ads at $10 ads, it's like, man, I mean, you can't scale that, you know, you, you gotta be like more competitive. So you have to do like hundred, few hundred dollars a day per ad set just to be competitive in the auction, right? If we're competing like back to back, yeah, I'm competing against you. Like my budget's like 500, $600,000 per day uh, per ad set and yours are like $5 or like $10. I'll simply like, just push you out of auction. I'll, I'll win all of the auctions you can, and you'll have this like inconsistency day to day, right? We have this like great consistency day to day because we are competitive, right? So if you think about it, just put it, put it that way, consistency comes from competitiveness, right? And how competitive you are, right? So if you're getting inconsistency, it means you're not competitive. Someone just like pushing you like around, like someone just like, pfft pushing you around so you are not able to maintain that consistency. They're winning auctions. They're taking your lunch, right? So if you want that your lunch should be taken, just like learn to work with higher budgets. Now, this is the framework that works for us like in big market. Like we, we do like big four mostly. And if you do like, if you work in smaller markets and smaller budgets work for you, feel free to do it and get good consistency with that. Feel free to do it. What works for us in bigger markets though is this setup, right? So if you operate like big four United States market, like this is it, this is what works. But I, you know, I talk to like guys, our clients that are performing extremely well uh, in Europe and they they have similar setup. They, they're quite competitive on, on the budget level. So 
notes i mean guys i mean the key to scaling is creative pretty much like we've seen the difference in performance like from like 1.5 a return on ad spend like 2.53 return on ad spend just by changing the creative some creative just outperforms other creative so keep your video editor busy hire a full-time video editor pay them well um with testing new variations of ads right because this is pretty much like this business is easy creative is probably like the biggest part the biggest influence part right if your product is validated you're going after the right products your conversion structure is good whether that product pages or funnels i prefer funnels then pretty much the only thing that left is like creative. I mean, on top of all of the infrastructural things like ad accounts, by the way, common infrastructure, right? Common infrastructure, I'll send you a link to, to connect with me on Instagram and if you want more help with that, if you're already like six, six, seven figure level per month, you wanna scale farther, I mean, even like $30,000 or more per month, you wanna scale to like seven figure level or more, just common infrastructure in the comments and then, um, I'll send you my Instagram, just connect with me and I'll see how I can help you on that side. But creative is big, big part. So thumbnails and first five seconds of the video are the easiest wins. That's just like what you would focus on, right? And then if like you test a bunch of like thumbnails first five seconds and it still doesn't work, right? It's still like, maybe like on the conversion side, you're good, but like on the ad side, your click -through rate is like 1% or so, then just change your creative totally, right? Get some custom content, Find some custom content, test it, validate it with some influencer, reach out to them. Hey, can we collaborate with you? Can you shoot more content with us? Right? So just be proactive on that part and just learn from the data that you get. Invest 10, 20% of your product uh, profits into getting new creative. That's the best investment you can make once you find a winner because like one, one, like one winning creative can make you like, I mean, we've had like winning creatives, like making us file, like one, one ad would make us like five, 10, 000, five, 10 million dollars. Just focus on that, right? Focus a lot of attention on that and just reinvest back into the business. Don't buy fucking cars. I mean, you can buy the cars. It's not, not a problem, but like before you buy the fucking car, just invest in your creative, right? Cars, creative. Cars, creative, right? Creative is more important than fucking cars. Keep that in mind. Kill losers that are below your break even point, access between uh, CBOs and ABOs and just duplicate winners. Now, duplicating winners, a lot of people ask about that, like whether you should duplicate or not. I mean, ideally you don't duplicate. Ideally, ideally, like instead of duplicating, you consolidate. Let's say you have interest like online shopping, like Groupon, Coupon, like whatever that, you know, like those fucking interests, you just combine them together into one big interest with higher budget. Again, you wanna be competitive. You wanna give Facebook room to optimize. This is the setup. This is the setup to get consistent sales day in, day out. One of the things as well, guys, that should mention on the optimization level. And I mean, that works for us, right? Like we would shut down the ads. For example, when we're going to the night and we know that night is not very high converting, we just shut down the fucking ads, just shut down the ads. And some people would like, hey, you stop the algorithm from optimizing. I don't give a shit, it resets anyway, right? And so what's the point of keeping it like if it's not profitable? And so we do that and we found that we get better results if we just shut down at, in the evening, reactivate back in the morning and just keep going like that. And so this is at least what works for us. You might be different for you, but this is something that you could test, right? Instead of like keeping everything alive and then like, let's say you go sleep and like, you're always like three, you wake up, you're always like 1.9. I mean, you just lost all of the profit that you have made like through that night. Just fucking shut it down in the evening, turn it on in, in the morning and, uh, but test it out, right? Like don't do it like, you know, that's just like what works for us. Keep it smart, right? Like do it on the side, do it like for few ads, a few campaigns. If that works, then just expand it and do it on the scale like with all of your ad accounts. By the way, here uh, to do this volume, so we have like eight to 10 ad accounts, right? So it's not just one ad account. People say, oh, like I have one ad account, one business manager, one profile, good fucking luck. Like we'll just wait till fucking disaster happen. I mean, it's just like one, 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 you know, it will get shut down, right? So you wanna have multiple profiles. You wanna have multiple business managers. You wanna have multiple pages. You wanna have good setup. And ideally you want to probably use the, the very strong ad accounts, either agency accounts or your ad, uh, ad accounts that are warmed up properly. This is on the optimization side and this is on kind of like the infrastructure. Again, comment infrastructure. If you're already, this is only for advanced people. This is not for people starting out. Infrastructure. Uh, and then I'll send you my link to my Instagram. We'll, we can connect there and you know we'll see how we can help you with setting up like a proper infrastructure in your business. So hiring, online jobs, PH, Upwork, 
Personally, I like, you know, Upwork more. We also get some, some people that are graduates, like straight from the universities. For some positions, we're only hiring people with experience, so they have to train them a lot for a lot of basic things. So kind of like they have basic understanding, but media buyers, you train continuously, you give them feedback. And if they are, if your media buyers like stop performing, you have to introduce new media buyers. And with those kind of like competitive positions and you didn't have to pay them. Like it's, it's ideal if you didn't pay your media buyers, if you just like give them if they're like performance based, right? If they perform, like they generate profit, get paid. If they don't generate profit, they don't have they don't have money to buy the food, right? That's the best because, and the same with like salespeople, for example, because those positions are competitive, but what you want is like top people. You want top competitive people that want to just like fucking prove to everyone that they're the best. So those type of people you want, if if you see the decline in performance, you introduce new people to maintain the competition. The same way with like salespeople, like, you don't want to hire like one salesperson. You want to hire three salesperson. I've learned that from one smart, smart person. And because you want a competition, one of them will perform the best. Second will be okay. And third one, you can just fucking fire, right? Uh, always be firing, like always be firing your low performance, right? Just fire, 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 firing is good. Working with an agent in China for all fulfillment purposes, common agent, common agents, right? Uh, so my agent, for example, they have a fulfillment center in USA. You can import your product and you can just do very well, like with great customer experience. That's what we do. Now we're getting like a few hundred, eh, not a few hundred, but a few thousand, a few tens of thousands of units basically brought back, uh, you know, brought into it like United States. Sometimes because they're light, you can do, you use like UPS to import them like pretty much almost the same price that you would have shipping from China with long fucking processing time, long like shipping times, you'd have the same results and same pricing, maybe a few dollars more per item, but if your margins are good, then you can afford it. If you ship like big packages to warehouse in the United States and then fulfill it from there, you'll have approximately the same price, right? So that might be a solution that you could use. So again, comment agent, if you wanna get a list, if you need help with scaling your business, if you're already like, again, this for more like advanced people, if you're already like, like at thousand, few thousand dollars a day, you want to scale to that next level, just book a call with my team. There should be a link. We'll see how we can help you out. We can help people who already have the foundation, have the experience and uh, helping you to take your business to the next level. So this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and um, let me know what you think in the comments, like this video, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one.